The first time in 70 years a ferry now connects to tri-state communities. Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Kyle Inskeep. That new service is not only to connect a pair of small towns, but make them more accessible to the entire area, really, and also bring in money from visitors. The new boat crosses the Ohio River between Rising Sun, Indiana, and Rabbit Hash, Kentucky. Jeff Hurst was on the maiden voyage, which brought back images of the past. I love to ride the ferry when music is so merry. The costume said Andrews Sisters, reflecting the last time a ferry crossed the Ohio River between Rabbit Hash, Kentucky and Rising Sun, Indiana. 1948, it was not a glorious ending. The small ferry boat that was at Rising Rabbit Hash sank. The owner didn't replace it. Seventy years later, a replacement is back. This ferry was put in by the company which owns the Rising Star Casino in Rising Sun which was the least geographically accessible casino in the area until today. What used to be nearly an hour drive from Rabbit Hash via a bridge 20 miles away now takes four minutes to cross the Ohio. It cuts the distance from Florence or from the airport in half. You know, all of a sudden it's, it's we are the closest casino to many people who we were not close to before. The casino company picked up the entire $1.7 million price tag for the ferry, the hope is to make the money back from people like Candy McVeigh looking for a shortcut to the slots. In the future, it might save time and gas, so I'm looking forward to see if that happens. To get to the casino? To get to the casino, strictly the casino. <laughs> the name of the ferry is Miss Rising Sun, and it's registered in Rising Sun, Indiana. Of course, it goes back and forth between Indiana and Kentucky, but this is an Indiana registry. I wonder if Indiana is like a flag of convenience like Liberia. I don't think so. And actually the ferry had extensive practice before beginning revenue service. Our initial training has been in the worst possible conditions. The river's been high, there's been big currents, lots of debris. The vessel and the captains all handled it as though it was just a normal day crossing. The Andrews sisters would be proud. With the ferry boat serenade. Jeff Herschel with 12 News. He always has fun, doesn't he? The ferry runs seven days a week, one-way rides, $5, round trip, eight. And even though it says Miss Rising Sun on the side, the casino is calling the ferry Lucky Lady, and the name will change officially once some paperwork goes through.